This call is now being recorded. So very good afternoon to all the members who have joined us uh, for today's online meeting. Taking our faculty development program, or should I say taking part two of this faculty development program further, and to begin with the third day of this All India Council for Technical Education sponsored online faculty development program, I, Abhijit Dehadraya, on behalf of Balapur Institute of Technology, Balapur, heartily welcome our today's resource person. Our resource person for today's first session is Ms. Renu Kublani, who is a psychologist, a psychotherapist, educationist, and a social worker. She is a very well-known psychologist amongst the students' commune in Nagpur, as the students frequently visit her, not only to resolve their psychological issues, but also to achieve their goals. To our benefit, Ms. Renu Kublani is a psychologist with a degree in engineering. She is currently pursuing her PhD in clinical psychology. So she has a unique combination to guide us today, a unique combination wherein she understands the lifestyle of engineering students. And at the same time, she has understanding of psychology. She has studied, counseled more than 1,000 students individually. She is also a visiting faculty at RTM Nagpur University. So, Ms. Renu Kublani, ma'am, thank you very much for joining us uh, in our meeting today uh, as a resource person. I will now request you to please take the charge and start your session. Am I audible, dear participants? Would someone please confirm if I'm audible yes, or not? Yes, madam, audible, audible. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, a very good afternoon to all of you. So, I'll begin with today's topic that is resolving challenges. Now, when we talk about uh, teaching life, in an engineering college, or whether in general, if we talk about teaching life, there are a lot of things that we face largely on personal level as well as on professional level. And things are largely different when we consider about any other field, whether we talk about uh, corporate work, whether we talk about uh, other field works, whether we talk about construction, event management, and any other task, public relations, being in the field of teaching is a very much different 
opportunity as well as a very much filled with presence its own kind of challenges to us dealing or being under continuous vision of students or being faced by a large number of students on a very much continuous base it's also somewhere a challenge to face because somewhere all of us we have a life that uh, very much we are on self and when on a continuous base we are being faced by students by people by management so that readiness that we require is largely very much different so before beginning i would like to know from you all a bit about how are you all feeling right now like being present here what's your feeling regarding today's session or anything right in this moment i would request you all to share through your chat boxes in one simple word so that we will get a good idea about the start up of the session it could be any word that defines your feeling right now yes participants i would request you to all to share in one word what are you feeling right now it could be your feeling it could be your expectation regarding today's session anything that you feel like saying or sharing with all the other participants and with me just a simple word one word before we begin informative session okay i'll try my best to keep it informative expectations okay yes some of the participants are writing up please share you could also write a word or a sentence which defines like what exactly are you looking for anything else okay so we'll move ahead and i would try keep outcomes oriented surely surely i hope that the things we discuss interesting <laughs> i'll try keeping it interesting or making it interesting but i would need support of you all because if i make it only a one sided session i'm sure neither you all would like it or not i would be able to enjoy it but when it's interactive uh, definitely it's largely enjoyable as well as uh, learning outcomes are great when we are involving in some kind of activity education education execute surely surely we will talk largely upon personal as well as professional challenges and also what are the methods what are the ways out with which we could deal with those challenges how could we resolve them on every level of life what are the different methods on different levels that help us to get along with this all okay so we got some interesting answers uh, but yes i would request for your all support during the activities and into the activities or whenever i ask ask a certain question so that we could get along with it smoothly okay so there's always challenges when we talk about there are many challenges that come into view but however with the help of research i have collected certain major ones see that's the activity we just did now so the challenges that we largely face as teachers we all are very first thing is that related to time pressure the hours that we work for the long hours and also the long hours that we are uh, investing in standing up during the classes that all together presents different kind of physical challenges such a long timings keep on moving here and there no time to sit no time to relax the bodily relaxation is uh, nowhere found during the entire day time 
then there is noise in classes then there is large sizes of classes then problems with authorities management sometimes the expectations that our students have uh, the expectations that management has the expectations that our families have all together on every front filling up those expectations fulfilling those expectations and fulfilling our role as a teacher it somewhere makes us uh, sometimes dissatisfied sometimes uncared for on a very personal level we try caring for everything right from our duties right from the knowledge to be delivered right from the preparation that has to be done like uh, teaching in engineering colleges is not a joke it's not an easy thing to do such technical things to learn and then making our students learn those technical things even no matter how much uh, pedagogies we use in our methods it obviously comes to how much with a free mind we are able to do it how much with a free mind we are able to tackle the challenges that we face on psychological level on emotional level on relational level with our students and with everybody else so those things also matter inefficiency sometimes from our own side sometimes from our student side sometimes inefficiencies of the system they present certain kinds of challenges as well on the other hand then there are behavioral problems there are attitude issues motivational issues presented by our students uh, problem behaviors that are presented and on that one not only this much dealing with students on one side and dealing with the parents on the other side and dealing with the authorities on the third side obviously sometimes it becomes too much of a pressure to do everything nicely satisfactorily and at the same time managing our very own health our very own psychological health emotional health physical health and caring for ourselves so that requires certain kind of strategies certain kind of tricks certain kind of management behaviors certain kind of changes that would largely help you on dealing with things on almost every level so what we are largely uh, suppressed by is the psycho emotional stress that we feel dealing with everything okay now here we will see in short which are the challenges which could impact our health as well as could impact our personalities when not dealt with on proper timings इनमें से कुछ चीजें अगर प्रॉपर टाइमिंग्स पे डील नहीं की जाए तो हमारे लिए काफी दिक्कत पैदा कर सकती है आगे चल के कई बार कई सारे जो रिजल्ट्स हैं वो कि वो इमीडिएटली नहीं दिखते मेनी ऑफ द थिंग्स मेनी ऑफ द आउटकम्स आर नॉट विजिबल इमीडिएटली दे आर विजिबल आफ्टर सम टाइम व्हेन यू हैव स्पेंडेड सर्टेन इयर्स इन टीचिंग और व्हेन यू हैव स्पेंडेड कंसीडरेबल लाइफ टाइम बट वी नीड टू we are concerned about the health and future as well as in present we need not in like postpone our challenges till the last moment so that we only take care of ourselves when it comes a uh, time of emergency no we need to prepare ourselves from the very initial timings dealing with challenges and stress is something that is going to be constantly present in our life constantly see we live a life on many fronts many one is a job front a work front there is a life on financial front there is a family or uh, there is a family front involved then there is personal front social emotional then there is the uh, uh, friendships relations हम जो लाइफ जीते हैं वो कई सारे फ्रेंड्स के साथ डील करते हुए जीते हैं एंड ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर इनमें से अगर किसी भी एक फ्रेंड पे दिक्कत है तो देन इट अफेक्ट्स ऑल द अदर्स बट आल्सो वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू नो इज 
there is going to be no time when all the fronts of your life are going smooth very smooth har front pe sab kuch bahut acha jayega aisa time nahi aane wala hai we need to accept that fact we need to accept that situation we need to accept that truth that challenges somewhere are going to be a very important a very growth oriented part of our life right so we'll have a look in short about these problems the complexities the unpredictable situations that occur in life and teaching then long periods of concentration attention intrusion of work into me or family time aapka jo family time jo thoda bahut reh jata hai usme bhi kaam ka interference hone laga hai okay that is it like even if we look the present timing uh, when it is like the covid time we shall say or if we look at the time before pre covid timing so we we'll know that anyhow the family hours have been slowly being occupied by our work challenges by our work uh, processes by our tasks a lot of tasks so how to work out those how to work upon productivity rather than working through like higher hours or working for longer hours how to work upon our ease are a lot of things that we would be talking about we would be discussing in the coming times so yeah let's move ahead a bit see that's the thing now the very first picture was really an interesting picture for me and i like to share it for one special reason is that see how many of us deal with challenges like a child deals with them like facing for one moment of time forgetting the challenge the other moment of time the dealing methods of adults are sometimes too much inappropriate too much elongated kuch dikkatein jo ki choti bhi hoti hai kai baar hum unhe elongate karke bada dete hain like some problems that could be dealt slowly that could be dealt easily sometimes we as adults sometimes dedicate a lot of our energy and 9 1 7 4 1 4 9 i'm sorry for the disturbance okay so sometimes even those things which need not take so much of our energies those things which we may deal with pretty easily but because of certain thoughts because of mm, certain special attention we give them too much of our time and energy which is not appropriate to do either let's learn to deal with life sometimes like a child sometimes with our innocence with our humor with a lightness that's because no challenge in this world deserves to take a piece of mind it is far too important for your health to give it to anyone or anything so we'll move ahead towards our first official activity of the day now i'll give you a short brief idea about what this activity is now here uh, i would suggest you that uh, all of you should use earphones as far possible during this activity so that there are no disturbances around you and the only thing that you do is listen to my voice because uh, what we'll do in this activity would be slowly part by part we'll take you through a scanning process you know what scanning we do like Uh, scanning right from beginning to the end seeing what thing occupies where this would be an energy scan where we will scan different body parts uh, regarding the energies that are occupying them regarding the issues that we face in particular body parts and how to ease ourselves up so it is an energy positive energy related activity uh for which i want you 
Flex firstly to lie down into a comfortable position. To sit, to stand, or which position you choose, that's up to you. How do you wish to sit? That's your choice. But make yourself sit in a very comfortable position. Make sure the only thing that you listen would be my voice. I hope all of you have done that so we could move ahead. Okay, now kindly close your eyes. And pay attention. Only to yourself. Imagine a huge circle of energy up above your head. A huge blue colored circle of positive energy above your head. Now, let this energy slowly pass through your body, starting with your head. This light is entering your body through the way of your head. Your mind, your brain, slowly passing on downwards, going on through your forehead. Through your nose, through your lips, through your chin, slowly it's passing down through your neck. Observe how your face feels. Is there any vibration that's holding on? Is there any point? That needs you to calm down. Is there any part that has certain stress holding on? Passing on through your shoulders, it travels through your hands. Goes on to your palm. This positive energy that is as bright as the sun 
as warm as the sun and as soothing as the moon a light as soothing as the moon light is it eases up your stress it passes on to your cells to your blood to your bones then traveling through your hands it travels further down through your chest through your torso through the spine Feel comfortable to open up their eyes. 
I hope that all of you have completed the activity and now have opened your eyes. So I want you to define the feeling that you had during this activity in one single word through your chat box. See, why I'm asking you is that it would allow me to know how, how does it actually make you feel. It also lets everyone else know how different the experiences through this kind of activities could be. Body scanning is a wonderful activity for emotional difficulties as well as for physical difficulties that we suffer. You see, these days, uh, the problems have increased multifold health issues and there are many new kinds of health issues that are uh, Sometimes they are related to sometimes they are related to the energy kind of thing, sometimes the muscles pain, sometimes stress is responsible for creating a lot of different health troubles. And all those together reduce somewhere our ability to deal with the challenges that appreciate uh, to be able to face the challenges that strongly uh, okay uh, uh, some participants are sharing that they felt calm they felt energetic what else please share go ahead refreshing that's great that's great Feeling better, peaceful. Uh, anyone of you who is into this kind of activities already, or once in a while does body scanning? Relax. Great. That's what the aim was. So that you could understand how it feels. So that you could incorporate it in your life ahead. Uh, so that you could make it a regular part of your life. So it's good to hear such uh, high and positive comments after this wonderful activity. So let's move ahead. I hope now you would feel refreshing to listen to certain other, other methods that we are going to deal with challenges and what methods to adopt. Now, challenges fall into one of these five domains usually. Uh, or adversities or difficulties, they 
all together fall into one of these five uh, domains. The very first is the physical domain, the domain which deals with literally all the things, our physical body, our vital cells. Yes, that's what we need to handle very well and very nicely and we need to reward it time in a timely fashion so that it could support us through our life very nicely, our physical self. The next one is on intellectual level, on cognitive level, on thought level. All these are together counted as one. The way we think, the way our brain works and the way our intellect helps us in getting along to the world. Then there is social self, then there is emotional self, and then there is this something greater than all, the spiritual self. So one by one we'll see how these domains, what are the challenges in these domains and how we could overcome them, how we could resolve them through our adaptive methods, through our creative methods. Let's see, physical domains, he complains, common bhi hoti hai, thodi se difficult bhi hoti hai. Kyunki, baki sab chize to baad nahi, sab se pehle to yeh zaruri hai ki humari physical body humari वो हर चीज करने में मदद करे जो हमारा टारगेट है राइट फ्रॉम गेटिंग अप इन द मॉर्निंग टू डीलिंग विथ ऑल द हाउस टास्क देन लीविंग फॉर द वर्क सी आई एम टॉकिंग इन बोथ द रिस्पेक्ट्स दीस डेज इवन फॉर ड्यूरिंग कोविड टाइमिंग्स एंड प्री कोविड टाइमिंग अल्टीमेटली दैट टाइम वाज आल्सो गोइंग टू रिटर्न सो वी नीड टू बी रेडी ऑन ऑल द प्रैक्टिस इवन दीस डेज व्हेन द क्लासेस आर ऑनलाइन इट टेक्स मोर ऑफ द एफर्ट to conduct online classes then we what we conduct offline offline we have many of the uh, supports many of the things available to handle we have many extra aids many pedagogical methods but online we are limited by a lot of things and consistently seeing the computer seeing the pc which is mostly in two colors uh, it's kind of a burden for our uh, brains to handle a lot of single colored screen to handle the tension of consistently being in one position yes that is so there are things like exhaustion fatigue headache tension and because of these uh, uh, regular complaints there are also major complaints i like while conducting counseling i have almost conducted Counseling for 300 to 500 teachers uh, individually, and mostly what I got to see is each one, like if not each one, many of them were suffering from physical ailments. Uh, it was it included back pain, it included obesity, it included muscle pains, knee pains, asthma because of the chalk powder, and so many issues. However, if it happens in the later part of our life, it's, it's still very, very much troublesome. So, since beginning, we need to take care of this physical self. Now, how to do it? Uh, the very basic first thing that you need to do for it is feed it sufficiently. Feed yourself with a very healthy kind of diet, healthy kind of food. Uh, Eat more of fruits, vegetables, and avoid eating outside more. And carrying a uh, homemade food, veggies, healthy vegetables, anything that supports your body really well. Eat those things. Then eat on time. Don't eat on wrong timings. Many times, as teachers, what we do is we postpone our lunches because we have some other work which is on priority. No, don't do that. Again or not, don't repeat it. Your body is as much a priority for you as much as a task. If you wouldn't support it on time, it wouldn't use, it wouldn't support you either on time. Up is only click karenge, kalko up to only up to support in karenge. When there is a session and you are not feeling good, that's obviously it's a rule that goes. We need to take care of ourselves so that our bodies. Take care of us through all these different life challenges. So yes, uh, plan and plan and make healthy life choices, healthy food choices. Eat on time. Eat uh, 
uh, get into habit of eating breakfast on time. Uh, next one is enjoyable physical activities. Whatever you enjoy doing, it could be exercise, it could be yoga, it could be playing certain games. It could be what your body enjoys doing physically. There are many different kinds of things. There could be swimming, there could be horse riding kind of thing, or there could be other kind of stuff, playing cricket, or whatever you enjoy doing. Make sure you manage certain timing for doing these things. I'll also come later upon the time management thing. Okay. The next one is activities for physical self-care and self-pampering. Do you all do you ever pamper your body in a in a way to make it feel cared, to make it feel respected, to make it feel deserved? Kya apne liye kuch time, kuch energy or kuch finances invest karte hain taaki aap apna khayal rakh sake. Uh, going for spas could be one, uh, caring for yourself, providing yourself many cures, pedicures, hmm, giving yourself, uh, allowing yourself for a good head massage, and things like that, they help you go a long way because you yourself feel pampered and cared for. Don't let yourself feel neglected in this rushed life. This is something that is your everyday need. Everyday need. Just a is necessary. So make sure you make out resources for these things as much you make out resources for other things. A healthy mind always resides in a healthy body. Until you are vitally very energetic, filled with good energy, good food, filled with uh, care, concern for yourself, you will be able to do things much, much better than it's without caring for your physical self. Aapki productivity bhi in cheezon se khasi hai. Uh, if you pay attention, if you are not, if you haven't eaten food or if you haven't cared for yourself, your productivity considerably goes down. The same work that you might have done with attention or uh, within a little period of time, that takes longer period of time because of um, weakness sometimes. So, yes, that's a very first thing. I hope you'll pay attention to it hereafter. Now, this is a very simple photo, but that tells you a lot. Look, our considerable energy is life, ka, body, ka, mind. Ka, wo jo hai, hum negative thoughts or negative issues ko ya kuch negative logo ko de de. There are certain people that trouble us, certain situations that trouble us. Now, tell me one thing. I will ask you a very simple question. If someone is troubling you, will you give your money to them? Kya unhe iske badle mein apne paise de de hai? I'm sure the answer would be no. Without reading, I could say, though Shiva Ma'am has rightly shared no. None of us would like to give someone who troubles us money. But you know, somehow we are doing it. Because money largely equals to your energy, your time, your uh, mind. But those people who are troubling us or those situations that are troubling us, we give them considerable amount of our time, considerable amount of our energy. Isn't that equal to giving them money? It is. Pay conscious attention to what you are investing yourself in. किस तरह से इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं उस चीज पर थोड़ा सा गौर करना शुरू करें बिकॉज अगेन दिस लिटिल लिटिल हैबिट्स ऑफ एवरी डे यू हैव लिटिल डिसीजंस ऑफ एवरी डे दैट डिसाइड हाउ योर लाइफ गोस हाउ योर हेल्थ गोस हाउ योर ट्रबल्स आर डेट विद हाउ स्ट्रांगली 
you stand in face of challenges so get into habit of changing these little habits that were like trust me your future self is really going to thank you for doing those little changes so let's move ahead okay here we come to the intellectual self the cognitive self and the, what we do on thought process now again going to thought process or so talking about thought process the problems you all could see very clearly the many problems that come from overthinking from over investing your thought energy there are things like sleep disorders headaches fatigue exhaustion mental exhaustion is bigger even compared to physical exhaustion when you don't wish to work anymore don't wish to talk to anyone anymore how often that thing happens to you pay attention be more mindful of things be more aware of things now agar aap gaur kare now if you pay cautious attention you will observe that those people who live a very easy life and those people who live a very difficult life those people who have written some great books who have reached heights in life and some people who have done some achieved some great things in life consider any smaller trouble consider any larger trouble whatever a person is made up of it's largely through the way of his thoughts it person whatever a person is able to achieve is only with the help of his thoughts someone who lives an easy life is also because his thoughts support him his thoughts let him forget what's not important let him give his energies to only things that matter and not to think that are not so much of previous importance so here again we come to what to give our thoughts to in what way to think hamari soch kaisi ho hamari soch mein cheeze kya ho hamari thoughts ke content kya ho all those things they would again help you deal with your personal challenges as well as your professional challenges uh, how to deal with uh, family issues the troubles on family level social level and the troubles or challenges that come out of a sudden on professional level intellectually if you are concentrating upon it if you are working through your to a very good productivity you would be able to solve the things in a much much easier way but at least take them in a proper manner so there are certain methods that are suggested through this slide the very first one is making checklist kai baar ye hota hai ki kaam itne zyada hote hain ki hum yaad karte karte aadhe bhul jate hain aur uski wajah se end time pe hame kaafi dikkaton ka samna karna padta hai so if you are interested that you shouldn't face any of the troubles at the end time make sure you get into habit of making checklist for each day it's a really really helpful and a wonderful method because i personally use it a lot these days when i have more number of sessions or more number of tasks on a personal level on professional level uh, checklist reminds me of the task it's also a very efficient method for saving your time checklist bana ke agar aap kaam karte hain to usse aapka kaafi sara time bhi save hota hai because checklist helps you like which are the tasks which you could done uh, you could get done going to one place or which are the tasks that could be done during the free time that you could manage here and there kai baar hamare chote chote time ke chunks waste jaate hain jinme hum kuch nahi karte but still we contribute to the fatigue that we are experiencing that we are getting exhausted because there was this chunk of time little chunk that i wasted i was awake yet i didn't do much so it's related to planning as well productivity as well and certain tricks and strategies as well 24 hours in a day 
is not a lesser time, not at all. It's a huge amount of time if you cautiously see. 24 hours is something that is given to all of us, all of us. In the same 24 hours, you'll see people are achieving what not in this world. People are doing innumerable more tasks than us in the same 24, amount, 24 hours of time. What enables them to do this? Probably there is something that helps them. And that is the strategies, the way they use this time. Okay. Uh, like for time management, I'll give I'll tell you a very simple trick that uh, which you could do to get to know how much time and where you could save your time. For two to three days, right from the moment you wake up in the morning, morning you are up in the morning, the morning you are up in the morning, do this the okay, schedule maintain correct. Like, uh, what did you do after you got up? How much time did you take to freshen up? How much time you allotted to which thing? How much time you actually dedicated to which thing? The entire time, right from the morning first hour to the evening last hour of the day. If you do this for two to three days only, you'll be able to make out that what are the things of what are the tasks that are taking more time what are the tasks that could be done in less time what are the time chunks where you could do certain other things which would save your time but for this activity to be successful for this activity to gain results you need to be very much honest with yourself अगर किसी काम को आपने एक बार अलॉट किया उसमें से अगर आपने 20 मिनट्स वो काम किया तो आप 20 मिनट्स लिखेंगे 1 आवर नहीं लिखेंगे यू नीड नॉट राइट 1 आवर इफ यू अलॉटेड 1 आवर इफ यू वर्क फॉर 20 मिनट्स राइट डाउन 20 मिनट्स एग्जैक्टली एंड राइट डाउन व्हाट एल्स डिड यू डू फॉर रेस्ट 40 मिनट्स आल्सो नोट डाउन फॉर हाउ लॉन्ग डू यू यूज योर फोन इन अ डे एग्जैक्टली for how long do you hold it in your hand and just check but do nothing else? Just note down how much time you are just sitting empty. Allotting the time to something but not actually doing it. So that would help you understand and increase your productivity in every task that you do. Your Time management would be better if you do this activity for two to three days. Firstly, we need to accept that we have enough time. If we keep on saying that I don't have time, probably we wouldn't find method to deal with ourselves. If we simple question, manage time? We say this common sentence of time management. But what time we manage time? Is any of us able to manage time? The answer would be no. Time is not an asset that I could manage or change here and there. You know? What I need to do is rather manage myself with the time. So it should be managing myself with the time. That's how you do it. I hope this little tip helps you in getting to better time management. Now next one is compartmentalization now what this thing is compartmentalization kya hai and why is this thing important on thought level now again what is generally observed is people who are good at dealing with personal level are also able to deal nicely on professional level on the other hand People who suffer on personal level are also people who suffer on professional level as well. Now, what makes this thing together? What makes these things merge? Because we are habituated of merging these two things together. We are habituated of merging these two things together. We are habituated of merging these two things together. We are habituated of merging these two things together. 
और कहाँ पे छोड़ना है हमें पता होना चाहिए वेर टू डी वेर टू ड्रॉप द मैटर वी नीड टू बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट थिंग मेनी टाइम स्पेशल टीचर टेन टू मिक्स दर्सनल एंड प्रोफेशनल लाइफ लाइक वट एवर है डे एंड वी कीप थिंकिंग एंड वी कीप आर सेल्स कंसर्न विद इट now whatever happens on professional level we are taking all those troubles home and also troubling our close ones would you all agree with me on that one yes or no write down in the chat box par hello am i audible participants please write down yes or no do we tend to mix up things on emotional and mental level yes i'm waiting for certain answers yes okay sir has written yes one more yes yes several more yes are coming up okay so let's talk now how not to do it yes certain more yes see that's a habit even i used to do it until one fine morning i got to read this story of a happy farmer i will share with you all that wonderful story that i got to read and that enlightened me regarding how to keep the work separate how to keep uh, how could i keep my work and my personal life separate from each other not letting them enter into and mess up with the things that i need to do like even after having a very stressful day at work you could be as a happy person at home it's possible and sometimes even having a lot of issues at family level or personal level a person could be as much of this in personality at work as possible as required how to do it there are certain methods now this is a story about a happy farmer that i got to read in newspaper one day and i simply loved it so here was a farmer who along with his group of friends used to work in an agricultural farm so it was seen that many other people many of his friends were used to complain about family about things about stress about one or the other thing they would keep on complaining and this one person was who would never complain about anything now seeing such a person it's pretty obvious that people get a bit of jealous feeling that this person might be having a very good family life there must be something very easy and very rewarding at his home that he never talks about any struggle any difficulty any stress ye kabhi aise kisi cheez ki baat hi nahi karta jabki baaki dino complaints se unko koi aazadi nahi milti they would keep talking about one complaint or the other they had with life family trouble so they were very jealous of him and they had this thing in mind that there must be something at his home that is keeping him so much happy throughout the day and even while leaving he would always be happy so one day what they did is they made a plan like one of his close friends they told him that you should visit his house some day so that you could tell us later what it is what it is that is making him so happy of उसी रास्ते से जा रहा हूँ so i'll accompany you now this is a usual thing that when someone is passing through the same lane we'll invite them home isn't it 
so that person also says like uh, let's go to my home and then have a bit of food and then you could leave so he was waiting for this opportunity he readily agrees that okay let's go to your home uh, when they to are uh, entering the home the it is seen that the happy person has a huge tree in the like outside area of the home so he gets a bag down from the tree and enters the home wo us bare se jahan se ek thaila utarta hai fir wo dono entry karte hain ghar ke andar ab wo thaila wo table pe rakh deta hai okay now they both sit down and they discuss about things Uh, the wife of that person is pretty much complaining wo keh rahi aaj to dost ko kyun leke aaye why didn't you inform me ana itna hai ye aisa hai also the person's mother is pretty ill and lying down on the bed nearby uh, so the situations were not as good as they seemed to be uh, and as much they assumed them to be the problems were pretty much high even in this home so still some of the eat the food and they are about to leave when they were about to leave the curious person couldn't control his curiosity anymore uh, he had a lot of questions and so he asked that person that uh, you always seem so happy at work we all talk about our problems but you have never mentioned about your problems ever like how come has that happened and why don't you do it what make keeps you so happy throughout the day uh, i don't understand so he asks a question he says did you see me that while i entered my home i got this bag from the street down and entered the home so that person that friend that curious friend says yes i noticed it and i was also to ask what is in that bag that you carry inside your home so this happy person explains that that is the bag of my troubles the bag of my family troubles every morning when i'm leaving from home i keep that bag on the street and leave happily through the gate of my house and also when i'm returning back i get that bag back to my home along with myself so that is how i keep the troubles and my thoughts about those troubles away from myself now that's just a metaphor you see metaphor that symbolizes something the metaphor meant that that person knew how to keep himself away from the family troubles while at work jab wo ghar ke gate se bahar jaate the to apne sare troubles wahi pe gate pe hi drop kar dete the aur jab wo return aate the to wo सारे प्रॉब्लम्स जो घर को बिलोंग करते हैं वो हमें लेके अंदर एंट्री करते थे all the members are requested to please uh, stay connected with us i think there is some issue because of which uh, our honorable guest has been disconnected uh, please stay connected with us i will get in touch with her and we will start uh, you resume the session immediately please stay connected with us Okay, I'm sorry, participants. That uh, out of a sudden click of mouse by mistake, uh, I exited the meeting. So I'm back here. Yes, ma'am. I'll continue the story. Yes. So we come to know how symbolically that person would leave the troubles at home and would again join back his family in the evening. That's what we all should do. by leaving your institutes by leaving any place where you work leave the troubles right on that gate and while you enter back that place while you enter back that place uh, that time you could carry that yesterday's trouble along with yourself while you entering 
okay so that's what you are expected to do and that thing really helps trust me the moment you know how to segregate your life how to separate your life certain aspects that time it's really helpful in uh, keeping you free of a lot of things that are not required at one place i'm not telling you ki aap soche hi na kabhi kabhi aap ki family mein koi problem bhi ho aap aap usse totally drop kar de par kitna work kitna attention kis cheez ko kab dena hai agar aapne ye jaan liya to aapki life kaafi had tak sort out ho jati hai once you are decided with it once you have found out a way of how much attention which thing deserves life would be a lot more easier for you already so that was about how to have compartments within your mind which thing to which side and how much time and how much attention don't mix them up let them be compartmentalized only okay the next one is practicing self acceptance practicing gratitude dealing with challenges many times what gets into difficulty is our self esteem is our comfort level with ourselves is our self acceptance is our gratitude regarding life uh, if we are habituated of complaining a lot regarding ourselves or regarding situations probably we won't be working as efficiently on the solutions just a second this is for Okay, I'm sorry for the pause because certain arrangements were to be done for recording purpose. Okay, so here we are back to the talk about self acceptance, self esteem, and gratitude. This is a very general rule that if we don't follow or if we don't agree to it, if we go against it, it creates a lot of additional issues in my life. If any situation is there. if i am not accepting myself into that situation or if i am refusing to accept that situation itself the challenge itself and i am being reluctant to accept it whole heartedly obviously the level of the strength of the situation of trouble would increase but the moment you are ready to accept things the accept people as it is as it is exactly how they are Hundred percent. That moment, a lot of your troubles automatically dissolve. Once you understand what all kind of people you are dealing with, once you understand uh, what deserves your attention and what doesn't deserve your attention at proper timing, once you are able to make out your priorities for your peace, a lot of things would ease up. Self acceptance is a great thing in life. if you are able to accept yourself 100% without judgments without being very much critical of yourself without having a lot of guilt negativity regarding yourself your life improves multifold multifold also having the gratitude about life whatever things we have now this thing honestly saying i i'm not saying it very happily and it doesn't feel very good to see but actually 
while counseling, I have seen that gratitude is lacking so much in people. We are so much considering or paying attention to the things that we don't have, things that are going wrong, things that are not working in a flow, rather than things that are. How many of us are able to be thankful to life at the end of each day? And how many of us spend considerable amount of time and thoughts upon things that are not right? Now, that's a very sad side of the psychological well-being. But it's seen largely. Even if you will interact with people now and then, you will observe that gratitude is somewhere lacking. And wherever you will see that gratitude is there, that person's life is usually very happy and content. They are happy with the way they are living. They are happy in the way work is going on. They are even happy with the challenges that they are facing. Obviously, because if you see, like growth never happens without challenges. A strong person, a ready person is never afraid of challenges in life. That because I have this difficulty, I'm not a good person or my life is not good. They wouldn't have it. The positive attitude enables you to face with greater difficulties with much, much ease. You know, that's how life is. You know, this is to teach you something. Whatever is happening, whatever you are facing, whatever you are fighting on any level. Those fights are inevitable. You know, the life that is free of challenges, a very easy life, a very happy life, a very free life. That is not so much worthy as one with growth in it. Uh, while during challenges, during difficult times, while facing something, we develop a lot of good qualities whether it's patience, whether it's strength, whether it's courage, whether it's creativity. You see, in the most difficult times, our mind gets more, most creative. The sense of humor develops out of difficult timings. If you watch a lot of videos, the comedy nights and so, uh, like on the moment comedy, videos if you see you'll see that people are making fun of difficult life situations only they have that eye to see uh, like how fun resides into difficult situations even today if I tell you to turn to those pages of your life which have been difficult but you emerged out of them then many of you will find that so many of those situations were pretty funny. So many of the situations were pretty difficult, but how you came out was pretty funny. Now, that is again an art to be able to develop or to be able to see the humor within life. Life may be Life it's okay, but yeah, that's how it is. And that's how we are expected to go along with it. Being serious every time regarding everything is not a resolution either that would support you or that would ease up things for you. But humor would ease a lot of things for you. Right? Then this one simple sentence, I'm busy, replace it. It's a very negative sentence that tells you that gives you stress that you are busy. That guides your mind into a negative side. Try saying yourself that I'm easy. No matter how much difficulties are there, I'm easy. That's a very wonderful trick to be used. Preparing your mind for things. If you your mind to prepare your mind, or train your life to be difficult, then obviously your situation will situation difficult. Especially when I'm saying myself, I'm busy. What I'm telling myself is also that I should be very busy. That I am very busy. That I'm expected to be busy. On the other hand, when I'm telling myself I'm easy, 
I'm telling myself I'm expected to be easy. I'm ready to be easy. I'm going to be easy. So your visualizations and the way you train your mind, the way you train your brain, it really, really matters. So hereafter, the moment you find yourself saying, I'm busy, replace these words with, I'm easy. I hope you all would follow these little tips here and there. The next one is learn to unplug. No need to consistently think about one thing or the other. Let your mind be calm without any thoughts in it. Any thoughts. Drop. Drop any thought that is concerning you within this, that particular moment. Do it for 5-10 minutes of the day. Just 5-10 minutes. It would give you certainly great amount of pleasure to do it. Certainly great amount of relief not to have anything on your mind. There are many exercises available online. There are many exercises that could be performed for unplugging yourself from thoughts. Okay, let's move ahead from this domain to our next domain that is the social and the emotional domain of things. Now why I have kept them together is for one core reason. When our social relations, every kind of social relation, when anywhere there is this little trouble, there is this little unbalance, we face emotional challenges as well. जब कभी हमारी सोशल लेवल पे दिक्कत आती है कई बार हमारे इमोशनल लेवल पे साइमल्टेनियसली दिक्कतें आती हैं और वहीं पे अगर आपके सोशल रिलेशंस बहुत एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरीली अच्छे हैं बहुत ही मेंटेन्ड है बहुत ही प्रिपेयर्ड है बहुत ही फ्री है बहुत ही इजी है सो यू सी योर इमोशनल ट्रबल्स आर आल्सो ईज्ड लार्जली लार्जली फॉर लिविंग अ हैप्पी लाइफ your social relations, your social support has such a high value. This is not what I'm saying. This is something that researchers are saying. These days for my PhD research, social support is a particularly important construct that I have been studying. And in so many studies, it has been proved that social relations uh, make a person as happy as nothing else could do. Even famous psychiatrists say that uh, a person's relationships are his greatest source of happiness. Now, kya aap is important baat ko nakar sakte hai? I'm sure nahi nakar paayin ke ki hum sab jaante hai ki humari life mein, humari social relations ka humi khush rakhne mein kitna bada haat hai. Like, how great value our social relations hold for us in uh, how much contribution they give in making us happy. The moment you are hanging out with your friends, the moment you are talking to your mother or father, the moment you are investing time in your children, the moment you are eating something just with your colleagues, could those moments, could those relations be neglected? I'm sure not. And also they give you a very much wonderful strength. Someone who has good social relations maintained also feels very strong on personal base because they know they would have some people always close by. If you want to see how your social relations are, I would tell you just to count how many people would be ready to give you money at an instant if you ask them. Or how many people would be able to rush towards you if you tell them about any urgent situation? Aise kitne log honge jo bina kuch soche aapke paas a jayenge agar aap unhe apni koi dikkat bata dein. How many people would be ready just to rush for someone at a stretch? Count those people and keep those people close by for yourself, with yourself. They are really important. And they are really great support for an emotional support, uh, relational support, uh, like any kind of support. 
that a person might require. But one needs to maintain those relationships. We couldn't expect only people to take charge of it. How often do we take initiatives? that we get so much busy with our lives that we have reason for everything. For not maintaining our relations, for not finding time for anything. And what happens is that even our other challenges go on increasing. Because somewhere we are not pampering ourselves socially, emotionally. We are not satisfying our needs. Social relations, social belonging is also one great need of every human being. Imagine yourself staying alone for so long. The way we did in lockdown. That time probably was the best time to make us realize importance of social connect. The moment we were in a lockdown and we couldn't go out, we couldn't see a single person outside our family. So remembering that time, I'm sure you would understand the importance of this face it of life and how to face challenges on this face it as well. Now, where we are social solutions, ki baat kar rahe, wahi pe social problems bhi kam Obviously, uh, there are a lot of issues that we face, particularly on social level dealing with people. Isn't it? Now, again, I'll ask you one question. Okay, up, all of you belong to engineering field. All of us, even I have belonged to an engineering field for a very long time. Even I was counselor in an engineering college for almost three years. So dealing with both. But tell me one thing, engineers are known for dealing with machines. But what is more difficult, dealing with machines or dealing with human beings? You could write down in chat box. Who thinks dealing with machines is easy or who thinks dealing with human beings is easy? Machines is easy. Okay, okay. <laughs> Great. Yes, participants, please share your views upon the question. Please share your answers, a single word answer. Machines or human beings? As simple as that. Okay, machines. Now, I will ask another. Wow, interesting. Now, suppose you are from an electronic field and if the vehicle gets into trouble, would you be able to resolve it? Probably not, isn't it? Because we are trained to machines machines. Or human beings say to koi bhi kar sakta hai, even without knowing. It's so simple to deal with people. Isn't it? However, one more point is there that is in favor of machines. That one could learn to deal with machines because machines at least have a system they work with. But if we talk about human beings, they don't work with a system. They are as instant. Oh great, we have an interesting answer with us that handling machines needs knowledge, very true. But with people, we need skills and that to higher order skills. Absolutely. Uh, Sudhir Kumar sir has shared his very valuable comment upon the topic that machines need knowledge dealing with machines, but dealing with people needs personal skills, a lot of skills that we acquire over time. The more you interact with people, the more skills you acquire to deal with them, to handle the difficulties. Or, you will see, most of the challenges that we face in our professional life or in personal life don't really deal with machines, but they involve more of human beings. Isn't it? So yeah, that's the thing, I'm sure. Once you get into that 
and once you get into those skills so it could be largely easier whether it's friends whether it's seniors whether it's difficult people around you there are methods for everything there are tricks for everything there are tips for everything and there is also a personal learning that you acquire over time no thing is difficult if you have the correct mindset or if you have decided to deal with it in a righteous manner so yes social and emotional challenges that we face now the next one is use community use community resources well be open in expressing yourself don't make people decode you kai baar dikkat hai isliye bhi hoti hai because we don't share ourselves very nicely we don't express ourselves very openly we tend to keep things hide it we tend to keep ourselves very much into that shell so that is obviously going to present a lot of troubles so whenever you have any problem be open and have guts to share it whether it's a social issue or problem or a communication gap you know these little things cause a lot of social issues compared to any other kind when we tend to make people not clear about the things that we are going through when we make people assume things when we make people decode what we are feeling see nobody could decode as efficiently until the things are communicated communication jitna acha hoga dono ki baat cheet jitni achhi hogi jitni exact hogi jitni expressive hogi relation jitne behtar hi hote hain make sure you use communication to the full scale to improve yourself emotionally and socially both even emotionally the troubles that we suffer are a lot due to communication gaps are a lot because communication is not efficient not in a flow enough also we need to somewhere work upon sensitivity so that we could deal effectively with others the more higher sensitivity we have the more empathy we have the more empathy we have the more we are able to understand others you know any person this is a key rule any person who understands himself or herself very well wo har shakhs jo khud ko bahut acche se samajhta hai that person is able to understand others very well as well if a person lacks in self awareness that person would also find difficulties in understanding others emotions or those difficulties so connect with yourself well and there are a lot of ways out to improve or to work upon self awareness to work upon empathy to understand others to seek a third view sometimes like always two views don't help in dealing with the situation kai baar hame third person view bhi dekhna padta hai like leaving a side up side of the story leaving a side another person side of story when you see the story from a third eye as a judge as a third person you are able to be more clear about the situation however when we are thinking only from our side of the story we tend to get biased we tend to take our own sides obviously so third side really helps in solving certain situations using flexible and adaptive problem solving is another method that we could use so here is the next activity a very small one again but it's pretty fun to do you know for self awareness and also for seeking out resolutions okay are all of you able to see this picture on your screen yes, yes. ma'am we can see the picture okay thank you thank you so i want you firstly to pay attention to only the left side of the picture don't read the right side then one by one read what words are given 
एंड जज वेदर यू डू दैट एवर क्या आप उस पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस में इन्वॉल्व होते हैं लाइक द वेरी फर्स्ट वर्ड गोइंग डाउन इज कंप्लेन तो क्या आप में खुद में कंप्लेन की आदत है सिचुएशन में किसी भी चीज को लेके तो आप जितनी ये एक्टिविटी ऑनेस्टली करेंगे उतनी आपकी ज्यादा मदद करेगी वट एवर वी ऑल आर रीडिंग हेयर लिसनिंग हेयर टॉकिंग हेयर इट्स ओनली फॉर आर ओन पर्सनल ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट सो दैट वी आर एबल टू डील विद आर चैलेंजेस वेरी एफिशियंटली वेरी स्मूथली without losing ourselves on the way so we need to be honest with ourselves whether we do it or not okay so the very first thing is complain then several others are jealousy selfishness dishonesty sadness being lazy being confused hating people hating something procrastinating using fakeness in life regretting something being hopeless being superficial being egoistic being self centered arrogant worried stressed having greed being ignorant being violent fear uncertainty loneliness indecision indifferent now i'm sure that many of these things in little amount or in greater amount we all do thodi bahut dishonesty kabhi kabhi kisi na kisi moment pe hum sab dikhate honge thodi bahut complain हम सब करते होंगे बट कितनी ये हमें खुद को गौर करना है नाउ आई वांट यू टू पिक अप फाइव बिग वर्ड्स फ्रॉम दिस नेगेटिव एनर्जी कॉलम दैट यू थिंक मोस्ट रिलेट टू यू मैं चाहती हूं कि आप पांच ऐसे वर्ड्स निकालें जो कि आपसे सबसे ज्यादा रिलेट करते हैं आई गिव यू टू मिनट्स टू डू इट to pick up five words for yourself which really relate to your life and which you do a lot just two minutes some more time one minute more okay now pay attention towards the right side of the slide and pick those five words that would help you getting over the negative side like what's it what it is that is the need of your life your personal life is it giving out more be more forgiving be more honest love more be more motivated gratitude passion happiness loyal kindness creative 
responsible, confidence, peaceful, proactive. Pick those five words that connect most with you, that you need to pick up in your life, really. Just one more minute and then we'll move ahead. Okay? See, all these words are such beautiful words to be used in life, whether it's joy, whether it's being loyal to your life and work in your relations. Loyalty comes for everything, you see. Being loyal towards our work, being loyal with our own goals, being loyal to our life, life purpose, being calm. Not having that jittery feeling every time. Not having that rushed life every time. Even calm seems like a very simple word. But in real life, I'm sure you all know how difficult it is to feel that calm inside your mind and body. And how much time do we remain calm throughout the day? Then trust. Being motivated to do. You know, motivation is again another very important point. Because when my students are not motivated, I give them a beautiful example. Or when they are not studying, I give them a beautiful example. You see? Because doing similar kind of thing, doing similar kind of teaching, you know, teaching like difficult technical subjects or topics throughout the day, we do get tired. We do feel exhausted. But it's also somewhere related to motivation, you see. Uh, like regarding why and how we have reached this field of teaching is also something that matters. Like for those who like dancing, for example, those of you who like dancing, any kind of dancing, even when nobody is watching that kind of dancing, so, even if you dance for three to four hours, those people who love DJs, even if they dance for three to four hours or continuously, they hardly get tired. They hardly feel that they want to get over with it. No, they don't usually feel that. The reason is the level of motivation, the level of happiness that they have connected with dancing. Now, I want you all to rethink how much happiness you have connected with your teaching. How much happiness, how much contentment you get when you teach something. When you teach to the upcoming generation of engineers. That would also give you motivation to teach as effectively so that our students are able to be the generation of tomorrow efficiently without being unemployable adults. No. We want them to be the best and employable and skilled people. Isn't it? So a lot of things from this positive energy side relate to our daily life and could be such a supportive thing to improve our pedagogies that we use for teaching and learning. Our next session would be on that one, learning different pedagogies of teaching and learning. So these largely supported, these largely count in them. Because as much difficult the field is, as much gracious it is, as much gratifying it is as well, to learn something related to such a difficult thing. What bigger pleasure than learning could be in life? So, yeah, we would be discussing that ahead probably.
but I'm sure you all must have chosen those five words that would make a big difference in your upcoming life. Let's move ahead. We have reached almost the last domain of challenges as well as the last domain and the most important domain of our life. Now, here is a good opportunity to ask a basic question. What is it that you understand by the word spiritual? When spiritual word, what do you Consider this as a word association game. So, what word could you relate with spiritual? Seeker? Okay. Nice. Seeker. Again, seeker. What else? There are so many members. Come on, join in the conversation. Purpose of life. True, true. What else? What else? Spiritual ka Hindi ka translation hai adhya. Se aap kya samajhte hai? Does any of you related to religious life or religiosity? Om, okay. Self-actualization. Now, that's a technical psychological term. But one of the greatest terms I've heard and absolutely a very beautiful term to understand, self-actualization. I'll explain you this term to all the members in particular. Thank you, Kumarina, for sharing that word with us. Yes? What else? What else? Write down. Spirituality. This is a very much heard term. We repeatedly get to hear it now and then. Okay, last 20 seconds if anyone wishes to share. Purity. Wow. Anything more coming up? Okay, let's begin. See, spirituality is nothing but something that is bigger than the little things of life. Something that is far greater than ourselves, our own existence, our very own life. When we could see beyond this, when we could consider ourselves as one of these universe, as one with the universe, that oneness that you feel with people, with the world, that is spirituality. When you are looking forward to something bigger than yourself, then bigger than the petty issues of life. Kai bar jab aapki soch kuch chote mote dayano se bar kar jab it expands to the bigger purposes of life. When it expands to something great, something gratifying, something that deals with humanity, something that deals with soul and not only with the body, only not with the material things. That's when you have entered the spiritual realms of this life. And trust me, to do it is one of the most wonderful things one could do for herself or himself. Because you are able to see beyond, you are able to think beyond. And the little challenges of life, the little issues of life are not able to trouble you anymore because you have developed that ability, because you have understood that what matters and what doesn't. 
कौन सी चीजें हैं जो मुझे सिर्फ मटेरियल लाइफ के लिए करनी है कौन सी चीजें हैं जो मुझे मेरी सोल को सेटिस्फाई करने के लिए करनी है सो वेन यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सी और सीख दो When you are able to be seeker of things beyond this worldly, material world, that's the time you enter a life that is spiritual. So, yeah, and you know, the moment you enter a world and environment that is spiritual, obviously the negativity doesn't get any more hold of you. The issues. that are going on doesn't get any more hold of you your thoughts also get a more a lot more purer a lot more calm a lot more conscious ab decide karte hain uske baad consciously ki kaun si jagah par main apni energy invest kar so it automatically makes you positive and optimistic it automatically shifts your outlook towards a greater side and when you are considering yourself one with the world and universe so every other human being you see you don't hate them you don't consider negative of them you are able to understand that they are one of us that's how people are designed that's what people have learned to be and so you work upon certain bigger things engage in regular reflection in meditation in prayer in yoga or anything related even a spiritual dance could be one of these things but try to connect yourself with the deeper side of yourself and not just live a surface life because that surface life wouldn't be as gratifying as your spiritual life could be and to experience the difference you need to live it for sure only words couldn't make a difference of course they do of course the words would matter but could they be equal to the real life experiences of being spiritual then maybe not a uh, well developed person could explain you in such a way that you would already feel that the effects are so great but when you engage it it gives you an entirely different kind of transformation so that's a way to deal with things follow your own important values and values self connection ab spiritual uh, domain se deal karne ke liye kuch methods aur hain having a uh, little time for yourself for self connection दिन के दस मिनट सिर्फ अपने आप को दीजिए तो दैट एटलीस्ट यू आर कनेक्टेड टू योरसेल्फ। आज की तारीख में हम खुद ही से इतने जुदा हो गए हैं कई बार दिक्कतों के चलते कि देर इज दिस ब्रोकननेस विद इन अ सिंगल पर्सनैलिटी दैट वननेस दैट फीलिंग ऑफ लाइक वननेस गेट्स लैकिंग डोंट अलाउ योर सेल्फ फॉर दैट self connection is very important thing being connected with your body mind your needs that's a very gratifying thing to do to happen to involve in once in a while have a walk in the woods have a walk in the park observe the greenery around observe the world around give yourself some time here and there observe the nature like even while i was teaching many times the weather was so good but we were so involved in the work that we are even not able to appreciate the wonderful things happening outside our class we are so occupied and even many times not many of us take our classes outside to have a wonderful session in open air once in a while that could be taken that could be done but we do not plan accordingly because we just go and conduct sessions we get 
satisfied with that that that's my work and i'm doing it but somewhere certain little changes are needed in our daily life and that would change your life on a major level even on a level you couldn't imagine so yeah uh, with that we have almost reached the last page of our today's topic i was to explain you a term that is self actualization right uh, i'll end my session with that term now self actualization is a term that was uh, introduced by a great a famous psychologist mr abraham maslow now he has given a table of needs self actualization is the highest need of a human life when every other need has been met now answering one question would let you understand this term now if i ask you all have you been using your potential your abilities to the fullest kya aap apni kabiliyat apni abilities apna potential to the fullest 100% use kar rahe hain are you using your highest abilities to the best you can or are you doing what you are able to do the answer would let you know whether you are self actualized or not this wonderful research was done on certain major personalities like abraham lincoln mahatma gandhi ji and certain major more personalities were taken and they were together studied ki wo kaun si cheeze hain jo inme pai jati hain kyunki ye log apna highest abilities ko use kar pate hain execute kar pate hain they could become what they are capable of becoming and that is the actualization to become what we are capable of becoming what the potential that we have to be able to use it fully the self actualization i'm sure we all are like somewhere going on that path at least if not till here we all would work hard towards that path of self actualization there could be no wonderful feeling than being able to do with what potential you have or you are carrying within yourself so with that we have almost reached the last bit of our session so thank you all for listening so family and sharing your valuable inputs upon the questions that i asked and listening carefully to everything that i had to share now i would like certain anything that anyone would like to say or anyone would like to ask koi queries koi doubts regarding the session anything make sure you use this opportunity well to see because uh, like as a psychologist we get to solve many queries Oh, many queries that people have, but they don't share. So, if you have any, okay. Thank you so much, sir. participants are requested to unmute themselves and in case if you have any queries you can always uh, you know unmute yourself and ask our uh, resource person directly if you are not very comfortable uh, to unmute yourself what uh, okay ma'am there is a question i think from uh, professor shridhar kumar dotre yes yes professor sudhir kumar sir is asking a question yes. how to avoid impulsive action the impulsive actions largely they could come from certain feeling certain need that is not getting fulfilled uh, it could be the feeling related impulse like uh, if i am feeling angry i would impulsively do something right it could be a physical action 
that if I feel like something, I leave the class and go. Uh, uh, it could be an impulsive action regarding anything. Firstly, if one is repeating those actions, one needs to understand the core reason behind what is causing that impulsive action. And once you get into self-awareness, once you understand yourself, you'll be able to understand the reason and also if you keep in mind the consequences of those impulsive actions, you will probably stop yourself. When you are wishing to do something impulsively, just give yourself 10 seconds break. Apne aapko 10 seconds ka break or calm deejee or sochi usme. What am I doing and why am I doing? Is it worth doing? Will the consequences or results be good for me or others? Just those 10 seconds. Even it is if it is anger impulse, whether it's any other kind of impulse, resistance is the biggest power in such impulsive actions. And that comes with practice. When you are practicing spirituality, when you are practicing self-control, when you are practicing meditation. So with those methods, one is able to control his actions, keep a check on them, get to know what are my needs that are not getting fulfilled. And rather than this impulsive action, what is the replacement that I could do, where I could involve in that would help me in a better manner. Even in social relations, this thing happens. See, impulsive actions, ki baat kare, unme ek cheez ye bhi hodi hai, emotional outburst. Sometimes, once in a while, we all have these emotional outbursts. Agar aapne bohat din tak, bohat wak tak, kuch cheez, kuch emotion ko hold on karke rakha hai. So it bursts like anything, like a bottle of coke when you open it. So similarly, there are emotional outbursts that happen. So for them not to happen, try stabilizing yourself prior to that last moment. Try conversing what is your need with that person, with that situation, into that situation. What replacement could be there? What other solutions do you have? So yeah, that way impulsive actions could be avoided. However, if there is nobody involved or no harm to anyone, certain impulsive actions also let you know about yourself. Wo bhi aapko aapke baare mein kuch bata sakte hai. Kaafi kuch bata sakte hai. Okay. Any other query? If you have any queries, you can unmute yourself and talk to the resource person directly. Or if you are not very comfortable uh, to unmute yourself, uh, you can you always write your query in the chat box. Well, I suppose, ma'am, that there are no more queries. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, ma'am, for uh, you know taking time out of your busy schedule and accepting our invitation uh, to be a resource person for this part for part two of this faculty development program. It has been really great uh, to understand the psychological perspective and uh, you know the way uh, the entire session was conducted. It was not just uh, it was not just the theory of how to manage stress and how to manage how to resolve challenges, but along with that, you also came up with very practical methods of how we can relax ourselves, uh, how to manage stress, and apart from that, what are all the other challenges, the negative emotions, the positive emotions and uh, help uh, there was a lot of self assessment during the session uh, which was really which i suppose must have been really really helpful for all the participants uh, to assess their own selves as to with respect to their negative emotions and their positive emotions and how they can deal with them uh, so on behalf of uh, fact, um, organizing committee of this faculty development program and on behalf of Ballarpur Institute of Technology, Ballarpur, um, i extend my uh, many many thanks 
uh, to you for uh, conducting such a wonderful session thank you so much ma'am uh, thanks to you as well sir and the institute balato institute of technology thank you so much for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be part of this fdp and to conduct a session for the teachers of engineering field like it's a wonderful experience for me it has been i truly feel gratified for this opportunity thank you so much and thanks to participants for listening and answering and everything for being calm during the session thank you so much yeah welcome ma'am uh, now i will request all the participants that a feedback form will be shared on the whatsapp group uh, in couple of minutes for this session you are requested to fill in the feedback form the feedback forms will remain open only until 11 pm tonight so you can fill in uh, the feedback forms which will uh, the link of which will be shared on the whatsapp group uh, and uh, in case if you have any queries you can always contact our uh, co coordinators for this pro for this faculty development program that is um, professor sunil kuntawar sir or professor ashish manus malai sir and uh, right now as you are aware as per the schedule uh, we will take a break from 4 pm to 5 pm and at 5 pm we will resume the session it is a humble request to all the attending members uh, to please uh, join the meeting by 1 uh, sorry by 4 50 pm so that we can start the session at 5 uh, o'clock sharp Uh, our honorable guest uh, for today's second session is mr akhilesh dehadray who happens to be a senior consultant in hunar tech works company from pune and uh, you know he is very particular about timings and all i will request all of you to please join by 4:50 pm so that we can start at sharp 5 pm and uh, you will receive your feedback form shortly uh, until then thank you very much